Hello everyone and thank you for coming to my YouTube channel, Dev Chanel's 40th World, where we keep you updated on reality TV celebrity exclusive breaking news. <laughs> that was a mouthful, wasn't it, y'all? But anyway, I just can't believe what's going on. I mean, once we see the Real Housewives of Atlanta, they're next to the last episode uh, for their season. Uh, this last one that happened on yesterday, which was Sunday, the 2nd of April, they had Apollo's fiance come in on the show. <laughs> she made her appearance and she was checking people out and they were coming for her lightly, but they are tearing her Instagram page up this um, morning or probably after the show aired. Um, and I'm reading this from bossup.com. It says, hi haters. Apollo Nada's fiance defends her ridiculous uh, our Real Housewives of Atlanta appearance. This was um, put out three hours ago. <laughs> it's like, wow, well, they're tearing her up. And I'm like, why? We've always heard Phaedra get her spill on this, that, and the third. Kenya was involved in, you know, the mess of her marriage going south. Apollo did his thing with the uh, illegal uh, transgressions he made against taking people money fraudulently, fraudulently. And then, you know, we really hadn't heard Apollo's side because he pretty much went to jail and hadn't really been heard of since, just little bits and pieces. So it was kind of nice seeing him try to defend himself from the jailhouse. <laughs> via audio. Um, so let's just get on into this uh, commentary that the bossa.com put out. It said, Sharing Al Mufiti, I can't pronounce her name, so I'll just stick, I'll just go with Lady F. Or not Lady F, Lady S. She speaks on her Real Housewives appearance. It goes on to say, if you watched last night's episode of Real Housewives of Atlanta, then you know, then you know Dow saw the moment that Apollo Nada's fiance made her dramatic debut. While Todd and Peter were at the old Lady Gang restaurant, they were approached by Lady S, the woman Apollo plans to marry when he's released in 2012. Now, my lord, 17, where 18, 19, 20, where am I? 17, 18, 19, 20, 20, 20, 20 2017. Damn, he just got three years. I'm confused. <laughs> I thought it was eight. Am I right? 17, 18, 19, 23 years? Wow, he gave a good uh, behavior or something. But anyway, it says Candy and Ty have been super supportive since Apollo's been away, said Sharon. I'm extending his presence here to congratulate both of you on this. I'm like, really? Oh my goodness. Lady S then went on to meet the other ladies and accepted a prison phone call from Apollo so she could personally congratulate Todd. So Apollo could uh, personally congratulate Todd and Candy on their new restaurant. He says, I'm happy for you, Candy and Todd, said Apollo. Appreciate everything you've been doing for me. So evidently they've been putting money on his books. <laughs> to keep him out of trouble with the other men in the prison. You get my drill? And then it says, uh, Candy dared to say that she was uncomfortable being around uh, Miss S because of her relationship with her ex bestie Phaedra Parks, Apollo Snap. And I would have been snapping on Candy ass too. I mean, Phaedra been disrespecting you for I don't know how long and you just wait till reunion time when you really have had a chance to look at the past footage of the whole playback of the different episodes that aired in this season, then you're gonna have a different respect on her. I'm like, come on now. Woo, be, stop straddling the fence, Candy. Be on your side and tall or be on Phaedra's side, but don't straddle the fence, okay? Then it goes on to say, I don't care about the relationship you have with Phaedra, said the felon. That has nothing to do with me and S. I'm telling you from my mouth that my baby, I'm a one-woman man. Or he's saying, that's my baby. I'm a one-woman man. The paperwork is in. And then Candy got kind of confused about what paperwork. He said, we're not divorced yet. She said, uh-uh, from what Phaedra said, y'all are divorced. Mm, go figure. Lying Phaedra, right? Trying to keep a storyline alive. Says, well, ever since last night's show, fans have been obliterating Lady S in her comment section for being thirsty and a homebreaker. 
uh, one lady um, goes on to write on her timeline, meaning uh, Instagram timeline for Lady S. These days, women are proud to be side whores for married men and go on national television and promote it. You are a great example. I mean, really? You made yourself look bad as fuck, uh, thirsty. You know, goes on and on. Dating a married criminal in jail and you think people mad, girl. Okay. But she's unbothered. Why are you mad, though? Wrote the re realtor. Okay, I guess she's a realtor, y'all. Um, anyway, you know, she goes on and pretty much defends herself. She takes snapshots with Mama Joyce. <laughs> I thought that was hilarious. I'm like, Mama Joyce, I always got to get somewhere in the mess and just keep stirring the pot until you get boiling, bubbling. Then Candy got to come save her ass. But I'm like, see, that'll be one time my mom will be saving her own ass. I'm like, I've been on told my mom to stop getting in the midst of mess. And she continues to jump in the shit. But anyway, she's still around taking pictures with the lady. Uh, Apollo is deeming as his future wife. I'm like, I, I can't understand this. And then I'm, I'm trying to understand if Boston.com got this correct when they're saying Apollo is supposed to be released in 2012. And it's 2017, so that's 18, 19, 20. That's two and a half years, three stops. But I thought he got put away eight years. So, I don't know. Did we, did we go a whole two years, a year already? I'm not sure. So, y'all get in the comments. But, I'm like, everybody have their own freedom of speech. And when you get on a platform, such as the Real Housewives of Atlanta, you do open up your door for people to come in and or knock on your door and give you unflattering comments or you know, commentary of their own. Same as we do when we're on YouTube and we're discussing celebrities or realities of celebrities, stars, or whatnot. You know, people can put us in, in our place as well. But like I said, everybody have a perspective. Everybody has an opinion. And it can be voiced if you put yourself on a platform. I try to be as respectful as much as I possibly can on what they give me. Now, I'm not living with them every day. I'm not... Uh, <laughs> I'm not friends sitting at their table, you know, breaking bread with these young people. And I can see another side to them that say, okay, I see y'all just doing this for the money. And, you know, the, the hoopla y'all putting around here to make people want to be mad at y'all want to go outside your head or this, that, and third. It's all fictitious, but this is how y'all getting y'all money. So y'all saying y'all have tough skin and y'all going to be, you know, ready to stand in whatever people may throw at your doorstep. So that's cool. But, <laughs> I'm like... We all oh, that's just too much. I'm like some of the comments I've read, I'd be like, honey, I put my uh no, nah, I wouldn't because you know, like I said, she put herself out there, she knew what she was getting into. And if she was messing with Apollo prior to him going to jail, I really think that their marriage, meaning um Phaedra and Paula marriage was really over, especially when this incident came up with him taking a rap for being fraudulent with funds from, you know, old people and this, that, and the other, you know, taking their money unnecessarily and conning them. You know, I don't think uh, all the criminals are being dealt with, but it just is what it is. He took the fall uh, as well as this other young lady. But I'm like, my goodness, the haters. I just definitely, I wouldn't say haters, I just say people making their own opinions, so excuse me, but buying in the uh, concept of how Boss subtitled their um, video on Apollo's Night of Fiancés coming on the show last night. But, you know, it was hilarious. I thought it was hilarious. So I'm like, okay, now we're finna get a side, see the, here or see the side of what Apollo wants to bring out since Phaedra has definitely had her platform on playing a pity party of how Apollo could do this and that to their family. And, you know, at one time she was blaming Kenya for everything. It wasn't Kenya, it was Candy, you know. So I'm like, okay, okay, we got new blood in him. We got Apollo's fiance, Miss Ass, up in him. <laughs> Along with Mama Joy still stirring the pot. I'm like, Candy, your mama gonna give her some airtime regardless if she get it on Instagram, Facebook, YouTube. Or even the gossip uh, uh, columns. <laughs> Joyce is going to get paid regardless. So anybody that got bit by the entertainment book, I would definitely say it has been your mother, Candy. But anyway, that was my short, brief 
commentary on why is everybody getting on Miss S? Why y'all getting on her so hard? So hard. So hard. And with these people uh, having so many open marriages now, I mean, how can anybody really say anything about anybody demise of their marriage, especially if they don't put themselves out there and inviting people in their uh, monogamous relationship? having threesome, foursomes, orgies, parties, whatever. You know what I'm saying? But guys, y'all, uh, thank you for coming to my channel. Uh, getting into what I wanted to talk about. <laughs> about Apollo Nas, young lady, friend, fiance, soon to be wife. Uh, in 2012, I guess, whenever he get out of jail. Y'all check the stats on that. Because I'm like, I thought it was more years he got. Unless he's been on good behavior. But like I said, I don't know. I think he got in, um, got in trouble for trying to make some deals on a cell phone that he shouldn't have had in the first place. And they were going to have more time. Maybe months, not years. So, it is what it is. But I'd be glad when he get out. Cause like I said on my last report, uh, he need to be home for his aid. And cause he, he, aid and I, he, he missing his daddy, honey. He is missing his daddy. Can't speak so much for Dylan because I'm still the... the she, he kind of looking like Phaedra now. But Dylan don't look like Apollo at all. And I'm not just saying it from light skin. This. I'm looking at the facial features and this, that, and the third. He just, mm -mm. It looks more like Phaedra, per se. If I could get a look at this chocolate guy, you know, then I could really sum it up. But he's staying definitely out of, the, he's staying in the shadows. He ain't coming out for no light so people can put light on him and see what Mr. Dylan really look like. Come, you know, put up a picture against his, of course. But y'all take it easy. I'll be coming back with much more commentary today. Look out for it. Peace out.